Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to show how to create a histogram in Excel. Well, what is an Excel histogram? An Excel histogram is a chart that separates a large number of measured objects into smaller groups of objects that are similar to each other by whatever was measured. And groups in an Excel histogram can be arranged two different ways. First, they can be lined up according to the size of the objects in the group, that is, according to the scale of the measurements that were taken, or they can be lined up Pareto style, in other words, lined up according to the number of objects in each group. Let's take a look at examples of both styles. Here we have data from state universities, student populations from each of the state universities, and let's make histograms with both examples. And here's a histogram with the groups lined up according to the size of the objects in the group. Smaller schools are in the groups on the left, and as you go to the right, schools are larger. The first group has 20 schools in it, and they are schools with populations of 30, up to 30,000. The second group has 10 schools, their populations from 30,000 to 50,000, and so on. As you go from left to right, the groups have schools with larger and larger populations. And here's a histogram Pareto style. The largest group with the largest number of schools is on the left. Second largest group with 10 schools, population 30 to 50,000. Third largest group, also 10 schools. And we can see the uh, cumulative chart in that pink line right there. And we can see that 80% of the schools fall in the first three bars. Let's show how to create an Excel histogram with groups lined up according to the size of the object in the group. That is the first histogram that we looked at. So back to the data. We see the data here at state universities and the student populations once again. And the first step we have to do is create the group sizes. Excel calls that the bins. First group is schools from 1,000 to 30,000 students. Second group is 30,000 to 50,000. 50,000, 70,000, and so on. So we create that little chart right there. Now we go to Tools, Data Analysis, and this is Excel 2003. Histogram, hit OK. Now we're going to input the input range from the student population chart. So select everything that's yellowed, including the student population label. Select all of that, and then hit this small square in the dialog box to go back to the main dialog box. And make sure you select labels because we selected student population. Now we're going to select the bin ranges. And that will be the lower end of each bin. What's yellowed here, we're going to select that. And now we're going to select the output range. That will be the upper left hand, the cell that's the upper left hand corner of that output where it will start. And notice that the checkbox next to Pareto is not checked. We're not making a Pareto chart. We're grouping the groups according to the size of the object, the student populations. And here's the first part of that output. I've colored it tan. And we can see the bins. This, the uh, groups are arranged according to the student populations. And there's the cumulative uh, curve as well. well. Let's make that a little bit more readable. If you left or right click on the x-axis and hit Format Axis, Go select alignment, and we'd like to make those labels on the x-axis go up and down. So check that until that goes all the way down to negative 90. Hit OK, and you'll see those labels are now vertical. Make it a little bit easier to read. One more thing. Once again, right click and hit format axis. Hit scale, and each one of those squares should be a 1 in there. So you have one label per bar. Now let's show how to create an Excel histogram with the groups lined up Pareto style. That is, according to the number of objects in each group. In other words, the group on the left will have the largest number of schools, on down to the smallest number. And once again, we have the data, student populations, and we have the bin sizes that we've just created. Same thing. It's almost the same, same process. Tools, data analysis, then histogram, OK. And we're selecting the input range. Once again, everything selected in yellow, including the student population label. And the input, the bin range, that'll be once again the lower end of the bins. 
output range. Now, notice we're going to check Pareto. That's the only difference. We're making a Pareto chart. We're arranging the data according to the number of objects in the group. Now we're selecting the output range, lower left-hand corner, or the upper left-hand corner of the output. And see, all three of those checkboxes are checked. Hit OK. And there's the output. We can see on the left side of that, the groups are arranged according to the size of the object in the group, as we just did before. And there's the previous histogram. Now, on the right side of that output, we can see the Pareto style. The groups are arranged according to the group at the largest number of schools. Right there. Largest, largest group is 20 schools. And here's the histogram. Let's uh, fix that so it's a little bit easier to see. First, we want to change that label to student population. Pretty easy to do. Then we're going to stretch that graph out, grab it by its handles, and stretch it out so it's a little bit easier to read. And we're going to do just about the same thing we did before. Go up on the x-axis, right-click, hit Format Axis, and then go to Alignment. And hit that button until it goes down to minus 90. Hit OK, and you'll see the labels are now vertical. So that is a Pareto chart. If you'd like to be an Excel statistical master, check out www.xlmasterseries.com and check out the Excel statistical master. It's 400 pages of MBA level statistics focusing on marketing.